Day 5, Red Moon Day. You know, I've been making improvements to the base. I've got storage here. I have a workbench and a forge. I've extended this wall here. And I have strengthened the foundation of the pillars that are holding up the catwalk. Let's go to the trader. It's time for a special. What the fuck is Bo doing there? Look, it's Feral. The night isn't over yet. That's why. Oh shit, I just got ambushed by a fucking party girl. What kind of a party is it? I don't know. Oh, and a spider monkey. At least, uh, it's all the night is almost over. Last one of them, I guess. Screaming like a bitch now. Too late, pal. You're dead. Alright, let's head off to the trader now. Um, the other thing I forgot to tell you is that I found a level 1 pistol. But because I don't have enough rounds for it, enough ammo for it, I've just left it in the base and we're going to, hopefully, get to use it this Red Moon. Thank God, a customer. I thought you might be one of the dead. Tier 1 at this trade is done, hence the special job for Trader Jen. So let's go and see her. Godspeed. You again? I'm starting to think you like Dr. Jen. Congratulations. I can make my payment to the Duke now. This one is in the burnt forest. A tough one. Okay, be careful, and try not to get yourself killed. Let me craft a storage box, because I don't want to carry all the shit in my backpack on a quest with me. So I can put the um, storage box on top of a block, out here just outside the boundary of the trader, and put my stuff in it. Well, I will do after I've beaten the crap out of this guy. Oh wow, the dreaded burnt forest. So fucking eerie. Gotta get the job done and get out of here quick. Oh no, it's a fucking ambush by the burn victim. Maybe I should have brought that fucking pistol with me. Oh shit, I better run. They're gonna kill me now, aren't they? Okay. Oh fuck, I'm gonna bleed to death. Oh, the shame of it. Bleeding to death when I could have fought to death. Let's get the fuck out of here while I can. Now that you have some money to spend, we're running a 10% off sale for the rest of the day. We had reward. I was expecting ammo or something. Well, you just brightened my day. I'm glad I could help you. It's finally here. The ultimate goal of this mini-series was to really to find out how this wooden base performs in its first red moon. And we are about to find out. Let's... let's see. Here 
Here they come. Ooh, how exciting. Let's have a look from the other side. I mean, they are behaving pretty much as we've come to expect from them, including this guy who's beating on the legs for my base. But generally speaking, they are behaving exactly as we expect them. <laughs> Except that guy standing on the uh, street side. They are also beating on the railings, as expected. Oh, that's interesting. She's beating on a weak spot. I thought I had that covered. I need to find out what it was. And look at these two. Okay, one of them ran off. That one is just standing there beating on something again. I have to find out which block was it that they were beating on. Okay, time to fight back. I mean, to be honest, uh, mullies are a weapon of choice for a base like this. Um, with a handgun to entice zombies like that to move on and not uh, be beat in the same spot. Of course, we can't entice the ones that are under us beating on the base on the legs of this base but maybe this is something for the future to consider perhaps having uh, some form of railings for the floor so we can shoot through them or uh, maybe some hatches so we can open them whatever I mean it does it does beg for an experiment of how to to do this I think I'm uh, pretty safe up here, even though this is a uh, wooden wooden base. The Zeds, you know, might have a go at knocking down the catwalk, but they won't succeed if I if I fight back. In later stages of the game, when I have enough perks, I can add junkies, turrets, uh, or other traps to farm a lot of XP. This looks like the arson of the Red Moon. I'll just get rid of these last few and we can go and inspect the base. They are scattered about and I don't want to waste mollies on them. So I wonder if I can shoot them from here. Got one, but without the right perks or mods, shooting with a level 1 pistol is more miss than hit. You know, I might do better uh, with the baseball bat. and take a look at the damage they've done to the base. Especially these blocks. I mean, you can see there's some damage. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is use the stone axe to give us a better idea of the amount of damage. Okay, like 50%. Yeah. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And uh, please, do like the video and tell your mates. See you next time.